All right, let's check out the rest of this one. We tie it 86th minute, and that's pretty much the end of leg one. We go into leg two. It starts again. El Tornado. These are the highest level players in theory. Um, and this is what they try because these are high percentage plays. Look at the stress like this causes the defenders, right? Here, the ball bounces over. I don't think that was a manual flick. I think see that's what the, see that's what they meant in their videos. Like when I was watching them in regards to like the the offside and them holding their runs. Like Neymar doesn't hold his run here. He keeps going. Look, that was just the results of. And there's no there's no reason like the attacking AI here. There's no reason for him to continue to make that run. He, there's literally no position for him to do that. Of me putting pressure and this is the game lifts the ball up. Regardless, though, let me see how you put pressure here against David Luiz. Here, the ball bounces. Should definitely have gotten that ball for sure. Oh, Chelsea won three 0 no. This is over. I don't think that was a manual flick. I think that was just the results of the of me putting pressure and this is the game lifts the ball up. Regardless, though, I put I found this. Dude, they're so right. Now that I'm looking at the the like at the offensive AI, they don't transition into open space. Actually, foul him from behind. It's not a shoulder to shoulder. I'm pulling his arm. There's no foul call. Too Neymar going over here now when he should be occupying this space right here. Dude, that's so true. Now I see it, man. Like First he's offside, this causes goes effect. back. He goes far too back. Well, I don't even know why he's going all right. the way back there. Here, the ball bounces over. I don't think that was a manual flick. I think that was just the results of, the, of me putting pressure and this is the game lifts the ball up. Regardless, though, I put... Oh, why are you going there? Look at that. Give that... Put that pressure on the fullback here. That's so true. I, fa I literally foul him from behind. It's not a shoulder to shoulder. I'm pulling his arm. What is Neymar There's doing no there? I'll call. It's too easy to get... Because then this guy would not be always... He wouldn't always be using the middle dude, right? He would have to switch off to the other side if Neymar was exploiting that extra space the ball, there. The ball holder, you know what I mean? So like, true. Or not to get the ball. Getting the ball is difficult, but it's easy to make a dribbler off get caught off balance. That's what I should say, right? Here he tackles. His player should got that ball. Me and it turns into an even better situation for me. Really unfortunate. Um, here, this is a good example of poor AI because I get through, and the only one giving me support is my CDM. Like what? Granted, Does this guy transition into the middle? That's the other CDM, and my Nedved is already busy here. But Neymar shows no interest in doing anything of the, of like aggressively cutting inside. And then, uh, you know, I have to play the Hail Mary. He goes back. Why is he going back? Pass just for the simple reason of getting rid of the ball, although in hindsight I could have dribbled. But look at this glitchy situation, like. It just sh goes to show you how this game just doesn't feel Sly like tackle. finished at times because of situations like these. Like, what? What What was that? Out of sportsmanship here, I remember thinking, I'm not pressing this. You see? I stopped. I backed off because I was like, I'm not, I'm not even going to bother. Like, I just don't. I don't feel like pressing that situation here. My opponent could have uh, been really unlucky here. I passed, intercepted, and look how they keep on doing this animation when they intercept a ball. At no need for that animation. Just receive the ball and pass it upwards. As if they're getting punched in the stomach, which causes them a split second of, of time where they're unresponsive for no reason. And I, that could have gone a lot worse for yeah, my opponent. He's but right. luckily it didn't. Should not do that animation. Because it would have been really unfortunate. And here again, La Croqueta. It's just used incorrectly. This is not what La Croqueta is in real life. La no. Croqueta in real life is sliding away from a challenge. It's sliding FIFA, away. La He's Croqueta going into the defender. Literally using the skill move to power through somebody. Yeah. Like going onto someone. So you see how no one's tackling him, but he's doing La Croqueta because he knows he can shoulder to shoulder me and teleport his way through. Yeah. Uh, and it's just people shouldn't be used play that way. The randomness of, of, of skill moves, right? So instead of going for a play, he goes for something that he knows might make an unfortunate bounce happen, go his way. Uh, so that's always unfortunate here. Terrible law he's pass. He's not pressuring me at all. No pressure on him yet. And Deserves a better law pass. he's not covering the track, yep. covering the, 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 the run. Yep. And look at the minimap, how much space is there. I power it up to perfection, two bars, so not too much. Very good, yep, yeah, very good power. But, you know, the game... It's just, it's unfortunate that in FIFA, it's not contextual what works. 
you know, in this context, it's clear that the right thing to do it's a lob is pass. a lob through a ball. Yep. But I don't get rewarded for it simply for the fact that lob through balls are just not good enough most of the time. Right? So what if what? he's putting pressure with this guy or he's using this guy then he doesn't deserve for this to go through but he's using his cdm the entire time and his defensive ai is what bails him out here i don't like this either it dictated by the scenario unfortunately what works is dependent on the fifa itself and what FIFA, the if he's putting pressure right here on this player don't then the law pass shouldn't be that good because he deserves to defend really nicely because it's harder to to get that off when you, the player is in front of you but he, at this whole time he's using He's using the CDM. That game itself, that iteration of FIFA allows to work. Yeah, that's so, just, yeah, you know, no. It gets way too long. That should be, that should result in a breakaway for um, sure. Absolutely. Bar, his keeper out, two so bars is more than, is, is, is perfect for that well situation. For that. But this with no pressure on him with a George Best. Ball should be bouncing like here. Yes, I agree. Max, just because I should get rewarded for the timing, he should get punished for the inactivity defensively here easy block doesn't deserve that obvious ball i'm manually using him so that when he traps the ball i'm right on him instantly mm -hmm. but it turns out the pass is just poor go straight to me yeah because your defense doesn't when you're manually defending they don't like turn receive the ball keep going you know what i mean like that's what they should do when he's using this player he makes his pass doesn't deserve it his defensive player should react to it face forward in this direction receive the ball transition downwards the first touch is even worse goes down and he and he gets the ball possession. again that's no um here this is really weird i was confused here because it, his defender just runs past I thought, how did he get through me but looking back my neymar is running back so i'm like oh you're gonna help me out here he just runs across like what are you doing here imagine imagine this happening in real life the attacker coming back and just running keep he just keeps he just keeps going over the ball and over commits like mm -hmm. It just looks like someone's so out of place. Yeah. I don't know how that happens. You know, no harm done, but again, just intricacies that make you wonder Terrible what mechanic. is going on. So they had a lunch mechanic with Pogba. Again, my opponent got short end of the stick on this scenario. It could have gone a lot worse for him because he tackles me, but Pogba does his uh, animation where he hesitates. Mm. Actually, no, not there. There he does it, which yeah. allows Guendouzi to regain possession, and I get to Ridiculous. reset my play despite yeah. the fact that I was clearly tackled. It creates a very good goal though if you score this, where I go for the hundred percent goal. Yeah, it doesn't work, but I could have even shot here. You know, this was an unfortunate shooting's not consistent that though. Came out from an animation which didn't allow him to to do anything. If you guys haven't seen Stallion's videos. Even Dr. Poe, even though I, I had that conversation with him on Twitter, like these are quality videos, man. Like this, this is my favorite video I've watched anywhere. Like this is, this is class. Everything he says is right. I just, I love this video so much. It's so, so good. Here, clearly read his pass, but again, Gunduzi looks like- Stupid animation, shouldn't do that. Yeah, he's right. Stomach. Hesitation animation. He's right, yeah. Ball bounces back. El Tornado shouldn't be in the game here. Uh, transition. Easy interception for Nedved. Transition. But look at transition. That. He, he transition. Does an like he's about to get hit by a base. Nedved. He's controlling Nedved. He should have received that for sure. Absolutely. But look at that. He he does an animation like he's about to get hit by a baseball bat or something or a baseball. Yeah, he's right. And he doesn't. His Nedved should get that. He deserves that from manually defending. Absolutely, he doesn't deserve that pass. He should be making the pass here. Like, literally, had he stayed still, it would have hit him, but he made himself smaller Yeah. for my pass to go through. Yeah, he's right. Anyways, that ended nil-nil. 1-1 on -nil. aggregate. We go to golden goal, and uh, in this chance, uh, you know, it was a decently worked chance. Nothing special. We get to this position. Uh -huh. I should, near post? Near post should work. A near post finish should 100% work yeah, that's there. That's kind of blocked, so I'm going first post finish. Yeah. His AI slides in, right? Some no, that shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen. No. It was a decently worked chance. Nothing special. We get to this position. No. I sh obviously, you know, that's kind of blocked. That, that's, uh, he's, he, Stallion, Stallion knows his stuff. I, lo I love this video. I really do. Because he's a good player. He understands what should be going in. This 100% should be going into the back of the net. Attacking play-wise, while exploiting the person's defense, he realizes he should not shoot this far post, fair play, because he realizes that he's controlling the guy here. Going first post finish, his AI slides in, right? No. 
Some people no. might be really angry about this. I just thought I'd put it here just for a debate purpose. No. But, you know, in my mind, he's close enough to where I'm not too angry about it. But at the same time, no. he's not selecting it. So I don't no. know. It's a tough one. No. Uh, if this was the 19th minute of a normal game, I probably wouldn't have cared as much. But it was golden goal. So no. it did have more influence. Here he gets a penalty. This should never be a Absolute penalty. bullshit. Like, all I'm doing is holding L2. I'm jockeying. I'm holding my ground. Yeah. He dribbles. You never even press B. You never tackle. Yeah. Into my foot. And then, yes, he pushes him, but I'm not asking him to push him. Yeah. He falls way too easily. And, like, I don't know, man. This is a really harsh penalty. It is. Especially considering what I did. What you did beforehand to, to try to get that opportunity. That, this is the type of stuff that's, like, built up tension. But that's why this year it's so easy to get penalties because dribbling is so bad that falling is so easy. So once you fall and lose possession in the box, a lot of times you can get yeah, a penalty off of that's that. That's not okay. Which is weird nonetheless. You know, we save the pen. I knew he'd go center. He, he did seem like the cheeky guy uh, that I thought he was. And obviously, as it goes, I score off the play subsequent to that. And Pass. Good goal. Nothing Shot. to say here. Yeah, good goal. So Great goal. That on golden goal. And at this point, I'm three wins, one L. Good. No, I'm two Great wins, goal. one L. Sorry. Yeah, two wins, one L, and we face this guy right here. And I uh, made a mistake here. Nothing to say about this goal. Just putting it for context. Yeah. Like, one nil didn't, up. And didn't this control is the player it gets, properly. It gets tricky again. This goal he scores is, uh, in my opinion, not good. Not no. acceptable. As you see, I read his cut inside. I didn't know what skill move. I knew he could do a skill move to go this way. Yeah. Wait, my bad. That's not it. This is the goal. Right. Right here, I knew he'd do a skill yep. to go inside. Mm -hmm. I, you know, you just, you, it's obvious. Like, it bounces back to him like that. But this is where it gets really messy. Turn around shot. passes in to Payet. What? Disgusting. Disgusting. How does that even happen? He's, Payet is running this way to then turn that way and shoot all at the same time. Yeah. No, I'm not having that. Not have first post as well. Yeah. Not having that. Horrific goal here. Fake shot. Like, he touches me just enough to trigger my animation where I lose possession, but not enough to make me fall and get the foul. So that's that's not that's not fun. Um, should definitely either be a foul or I should just be able to come through for sure. But that goes back to the point of Lob dribbling pass. in this game. Lob good pass. Enough. Here, um, the stage is set for a easy, easy lob through yes. ball, a cheeky FIFA 10 style one. Yes. I mean, he overcommitted. Mm -hmm. Huge, huge mistake on his part, leaving this massive gap. Not controlling any of those people either. He is, is by far a good enough player. I powered it not too much, you can tell, because I accounted for the less space. You know, last time we had a through ball, the defensive line was almost at the halfway line, like here. Now we're lower. I account for that. I do low power. And what does the game do? It gives me a trajectory that makes it just out of reach for me yeah. and perfect for the center back. So again, it just goes to show you how it's a shame how the game isn't contextual. It's just all about what mechanics work that said year, and then you just spam them yeah, over and over. Yeah, he's right. right? So that should that should be an easy law pass. Way, easy law pass. Uh, it's, it's just a shame. And then here. Goal. God knows how I didn't score. Mm. Right, so I just should have mm -mm. done something else mm -mm. here, I guess. Nope. Uh, it's it's just a shame. And then here... With the Zebu. God knows. No, 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 no. No, no, no. 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 That's how I didn't score? No. Literally again. No. Horrific defending from him. No. It was Zebu. Uh, it's just easy finish, really. No. Now here, I knew I was second man pressing and I was waiting for the ball here with my center back. And, yeah, you know, he does well Sandro there. doesn't stick a leg out, which is unfortunate. This is what he means. This is what he means in, um, in the, the way that the passing works on the attack, right? I knew I was second man pressing and I was waiting for the ball here with my center back. And, you know, doesn't deserve to get that pass through. And he's manually defending with him. So watch how he's transitioning upwards. And the, the way, 
this is this is the this is a FIFA mechanic, and he this is why I like Stallion's video a lot because he's shown a light with this. The attacker, the attacker responds better to this ball than the defender does. But the defenders in real life, right? He's transitioning like that. But if he makes a middle pass like this, the defender, especially if he's manually controlling him, should be the one that aggressively gets his ball back because he's running upwards. His player is more is more face downwards, so he should be getting this ball right. Sandro doesn't stick a leg out. Especially right here, he starts making that run upwards, and he's like, I'm going to go back downwards, right? But David Luiz should definitely, in my opinion, get this ball. I think that was a, a bit of a... one of them Because he only, he only makes that transitioning run after the pass. He doesn't do that transitioning run during the, the time of when the, the ball is... When, the, when he has possession of the ball. He does that from the pass. That is a FIFA mechanic. That, that is something that I myself have never realized um, or maybe have but never really took into account that stallions definitely open my eyes to the defenders don't react nicely to this ball as much as the attackers do the attackers will react when the pass will be done but the defenders don't react quick enough to go and intercept that ball that is definitely a thing i've never noticed myself but he's definitely open Passes my eyes too people not take for granted right when i don't think they should nothing to say here just my goal yeah to make it to not a bad finish and here i make it Two, two. Goal. So in the sense good. of the play, this was a good. Goal. This should have been. This should have been. Uh, this should have been a finesse shot far post. What would make sense, right? In terms of what would make sense, a finesse shot far post Stay is here. what makes sense in this situation. Just my goal to make it two one, and here I make it two two. Touch finesse shot. It doesn't make sense that he gets through this player over here. So in the sense of the play, this was a good goal because the, the play, this, yes, the ball got here, and the second he selected him, I knew exactly that I'd be able to get in on goal if he overcommitted or wasn't good enough at tracking uh, as Nedved made the run in. So that was good. I did, however, get lucky here because yes. obviously it goes under Ferdinand. But again, unfortunately, we're we're in a position where we accept. The luckiness because... Of it's not. That was a good goal. Right. I was not the right the shot to take in terms of general experience, but for FIFA, that works. Is. Um, here, again, just... There's nothing really to say here other than what I mentioned that yeah. I speak about. Glitchy situations. What is happening here? Like, between everyone falling over, is he falling over? It's like unsure, tackles, trips... People tripping over, goalies falling over defenders, the ball staying there. Like, it's a mess. Just doesn't feel like a finish. Should be receiving that. Game. And here, again, back to the basics of passing. Yeah, Block should be receiving that. Back to him. Here, I scored. Great fake shot. Two. Good goal. Surprised I pulled that one off, to be fair. Green finish, so I'm cool with that. Space. That's and that's a mechanic that's left. probably never going to be removed. So if he greens that, then so be it. Game Round four, game two. Heading into it with a 3-2 lead after being 2-0 down. And um, at this point, I was 2-1, obviously. And here... Uh, now, what I wanted to talk about here was... Um, right here. This is the moment he presses pass. Right? So, you, mm. sometimes to, to, to see what a pass was like and to understand how deep passing assistant... He should not get this ball here. The, the the pass going through here is not the problem. The fact that he is passing to someone that is... He's passing to someone that gets open because the attacker responds better than the defender does in this situation. Like, he's the one that opened my eyes to this. Goes, you have to freeze frame the second the pass is made. This is the guy who receives... Makes no sense for him to get this ball here. Ball. Nedved is clearly in front of him. Yeah. He's off balance. Mm -hmm. Everything is set for me to counter. Somehow, Nedvin moves away, he magnetizes towards the ball, yeah. and the play goes on. Incredibly so, right? This is a huge, huge, huge issue in FIFA, which leads to this situation where someone might say, yo, you got lucky that your AI blocked it for you. Yeah, but I mean, he's right there, you know? I can't, he, That's just um, an animation too, yeah. Just Mbappe... This happens a few times yeah. every now and then. Yeah. Here it's a rushed pass, pass, pass for myself. You know, lazy. Doesn't deserve games, to get this. But with the passing assistance, it ends up working out for me. Yeah. But we move on. We continue. Doesn't fighting. deserve that. Again, goes my way. I mean, look at the stats, by the way. I have 95% pass accuracy. He has 69% pass accuracy. And that's with all the examples I'm showing you. So 
in FIFA 16 or 17, like this guy would have had like 50% pass accuracy. Can you imagine the amount of counterattacks I would have had? Yeah. Crazy, man. Yeah. If you have 69% pass accuracy in FIFA 18 or 19, there there are some big problems in your buildup. Like monstrous problems. Nonetheless. Doesn't deserve that. Good. Here, another. But but I know exactly what's going to happen here from playing FIFA. His Ganduzi takes a, an emphasis touch. Awful, awful pass. From emphasis him, touch. Right, but, right here. Watch. You know. I, I know it. Just from playing the game myself, I know he's going to do an emphasis touch. He's not going to just touch it and then be able to pass to the fullback. He's going to do an emphasis touch. He's not interested in the play, and he runs back to the point where to get this, he has to slide. And Guendouzi... I knew it. I knew it. ...thing where the touch is just ever so slightly too big that for a split second... I knew it. Not active ...and allows Aouar to get the ball back. And off that situation, he gets a chance, which was not dangerous, but in hindsight, you know, it could have been... He then proceeds to score off a corner. I mean, a corner across. I'm sorry, but unless you're on a counterattack and like it's completely open, corners are just not my thing in terms of enjoying scoring them and also in like rating rating them. So God, I just knew that, corners. dude. I'm telling you, man, from playing the game so much, I just knew that his. Because, yo, when I used to play this game a lot, I used to get so angry. I'm like, chat. Do you guys see him doing the emphasis touch? I'm gonna freak out. Cause bro, that that animation, oh my god. Neymar makes that pass. Just just touch the ball. Don't drag it, please. Lord have mercy on my soul. Just touch the ball. I used to get yo, you guys know when I used to play this game consistently, that that touch, man, and they do it every almost every single time when the game plays shit. He just does that drag touch. Don't do the drag touch. No one wants you to do a drag touch. There's literally, Neymar makes a pass to you, just touch it and go. And he does the drag touch. I knew it, I like, knew that it was gonna do that, chat. I knew it, I freaking knew it. Like, you're just playing off the RNG in And my... this is just the thing with the fullbacks and the attackers. The fullbacks do not respond well to far post crosses because the attacker always transitions to the inside to get that cross. And it doesn't transition and it doesn't allow you to choose the inside or the outside against the attacker. Honest opinion. He's just playing off. Doesn't the deserve that. You're blocking that. Him. Here, we're back to the rebound nation. No. As we see Militao intercept a pass, bounces straight back to him. And um, here, his goal, nothing to say yeah. here. Yeah. See, I dude, I'm telling you, I love this kid, man. I'm telling you, this, this is the best video in this entire community. This is the best. This is the best video I've ever watched. Because the guy scores it because of the angles of the defending and the attacking. I'm like, good goal, right? And he says the same thing. I did send the video to EA. He says the same thing. This is why I love this video, man. This is this is the best video I've seen in the entire community, man. The entire community, dude. This is such a great video. A good goal. Because when you watch the angles, right, and 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 he and he understands it. This is why I like that he's a game changer, okay? Because every angle that makes sense for his opponent to score this, he scores it. And I yeah, love it. Man. Right? Here, Watch. Back to the rebound Watch this. Mission. Right? Doesn't deserve that because he, he's defending good there. Out, intercept a pass, bounces straight back. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the angles here. And uh, that's fine. That's here, fine. Here, his goal that's fine. You see all the angles there for him to score there? It was it was just good. I loved that. Nothing to say here. The only thing, like good goal by all means. The only thing I'm going to say is that. This was the most obvious interception in the world mm -hmm. that I would have done in the past. But because this game has trained me to believe that no matter what I do, I won't intercept the ball. I have these moments of hesitation where I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And that's, uh, that's purely a result of this game <laughs> literally punishing me every time I intercept. So in these situations, you know, I give too much space. So, you know, it sounds like an excuse. Uh, and it is, but it's also it's also the truth. You can't expect me, you know. It's like it's like when you have a dog. You, you, people who have dogs and they whack them on the head, and then the dog like flinches every time he's near, or someone raises their hand. If, if you'll notice, a dog is used to getting hit. The same way I'm used to interceptions, not, um, you know, not working, because, um. You know, I've been trained to believe that it won't work anyway, so I get scared, right? But, you know, it's not all cookies and cream. You know, my dog's lucky. I've never hit him and never will. <laughs> but some dogs get hit. Likewise, 
uh, in some games you get punished for right decisions and you start second guessing yourself. And this this was a good goal nonetheless. Yeah. We proceed there. Um, this was touch to make it two one. So to make it mm. tied on aggregate again, mm-hmm. really lucky goal. Mm-hmm. If you look at the fact that this was the right idea, but and he says it. There. It's like it's like it's like we it's like we have the same mind. You hear how I say touch because it doesn't it doesn't warrant a goal right away. It's not there yet, right? Air still goes through him. I time it. If he touches and goes in and then shoots with Nedved's left foot bottom right, I'm like, yeah, you know? But, like, you see how I say touch, and even he's, like, doesn't warrant a goal there. It doesn't matter. It goes through Kempembe really unlucky. Here, his, his Patrick Vieira needs to get that. It's a little bit of a mess. I tackle with Vieira. Yeah, it's Patrick Vieira needs to get that. passes it, slide tackle Sandro, and it drops back to him. Just messy yeah, for the- no reason. Horrific deserves that pass for myself yeah in this situation lifted by the cpu which makes it that much harder and his mbappe does it t- does a shit touch intercept which allows viera yeah no to put pressure him and regain possession yeah now goal kicks are something as well that you know you know it's fine changing them but they made them harder this year yeah in terms of aiming to your cdms therefore mm-hmm. If you can, you always want to pass it to your fullbacks. And when you see them open, you kind of, I personally get excited. So I'm like, oh, sweet, free, court, free goal kick because he's not pressing my fullbacks. This is an uncontested header and he misses it. That can't happen. Yeah, he's right. That just can't happen. Terrible and, touch. That's the, His game plays bad. His game plays bad if they make those touches, 100%. And obviously here we have a fresh... Such a long distance too, man. Taking this touch, yes. From That's the acceleration run. touch right there. Run pass, but it's the 83rd. He's fresh. You know, he just came on as a super sub. You can't be doing this. He's right. So much random. And that pass shouldn't go through. Finally, with five minutes to spare, we're heading into golden goal. I get the three. Or the two. two Not bad. Which puts me back at one goal advantage. Doesn't deserve that. But, you know, it wasn't over yet because of situations like these. When uh, mm. my player is clear, this guy is covering, and he passed this way. And it it's, it's doesn't warrant to pass right away. That should be a pass to this guy right here, flex right here. pass that might come through to press with David Luiz, even mm. though I know in theory this shouldn't happen. But it almost does because, because of that. Yeah. And it actually does actually go through. So at that point, I'm like, whoa. And the worst part about this all is that it auto-switches me to Alexandro when I didn't want to be. So I yeah. couldn't even use him to press in. Yeah. It's just a glitchy, unfortunate situation. He's right there. And as we near the end at this point, no, we no. see another just pass that goes right next to the CDM and nothing seems to happen. No, no. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But that's that's it for the examples, man. Those, those are the things I wanted to cover 100%. Uh, I understand if people, oh, you're being way too hypercritical. No, like, no, you're not. This and that. Just play the game. Man, I tried playing the game for no. months and months on end. No. Uh, but uh, it's it's clear as day to me, especially when you look at the round five and six, which I showed you, because after this win, I was three and one, but I showed the games which I lost to make me go three and two and then three and three before these last games. Those games really showed me that at a certain point, it's just complete randomness. It's unbelievable to me losing a series of best. Because you know why you know why Stallion's saying this because he's a good player. So when when and I used to do this like long time ago for FIFA. Uh, I don't do this anymore because I whatever reviewed my games it just made me more angry. Because I'm like I didn't do anything wrong there. I didn't do anything like it's like him. Like he's not doing anything wrong. He's not getting rewarded for it. That's why I always tell people it's not that type of game. Like you could lose in this game like four nil and still be better than your opponent. Like that's how. Crazy it is. I like this video a lot, man. This is a solid video. Two five four, because my opponent scored four Il Tornado goals. Like, can yeah. you imagine? Yeah. You don't even have to imagine. I literally showed it. It's just, um, it's too random. It's too random, and people are 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 clearly not enjoying it. At least a large majority of people. Uh, so that's that's what I wanted to say about the state of FIFA 19. It's it's a mess. It goes best video in the community. Defending beyond best video. Tornados. As you can see, just the fundamentals are just uh, are just not there. Nonetheless, let me know what you think. Uh, if you watched until now, you are a legend. Beautiful. And until nine dislikes. So this should this should have zero dislike. This should have like thirty thousand, forty thousand views, six k views. Come on, man. Come on, community. Come on. This is literally the best video I've ever seen in the community. My videos don't touch shit on this video. They don't touch shit.
because he actually because this is this is the stuff that I was unwilling to do because this takes so much time to do to analyze the very specifics of the game. He shows the drag touches. He shows how the interceptions works, the way that your players tackle when they're defending. Wow. Best video I've ever seen in the entire FIFA community. Absolutely craps. Craps on my videos. All of them. I'm linking this in the chat again. Wow. That's what I'm talking about, man. What a video.